Well, hi, Cancers. Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. I'm back. Yes, and I'm so happy to be back. So good to see you. So, anyway, I have a general reading to do for you. And I am going to start shuffling these cards. This is a two-part reading. The overall energy of this reading will be the middle card in the first part of the reading, Cancers. So let's get these shuffled a few times. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate with everybody, but you can take what does resonate. And I am still doing private readings, so just letting you know that up because I'm not ready yet. One more shuffle here. I always shuffle these very good between readings, so this is like an extra shuffle so you can see that they're mixed up. And I'm going to cut them. So I am doing a cut for this reading for Cancers, please. All right, here we go. Please, universe, for Cancers, what do they need to know? What's coming up in their lives? Any advice for our Cancers in moving forward, please? What should they look out for? For Cancers. Got quite a few coming out. Ooh, and another one. And another one. Okay. Here we are. I always put the cards down in the same order that they come out of the deck. For Cancers. Oh my goodness, the overall energy is a Knight of Wands, Cancers. <clears throat> this is about someone who runs in and out of your life who is not very grounded. And we are going to talk about them. And let's see what they have to say. So we have some cards left to go towards the second part of the reading also. So here is the overall energy, the Knight of Wands. Very flighty energy. All the cards are male or female. All the kings and queens are very mature in their thinking. Uh, but there is an energy, someone who runs in and out of your life. I don't know who it is yet. I have no clue. I just started <laughs> the reading. Uh, but, you know, they, they give hopes of fresh starts and new beginnings. And if this is a love then it's somebody who runs out. They run in with the staff of Fresh Starts and New Beginnings, and they run out with the staff of Passion. Uh, if it's not love, then it is just somebody who is very ungrounded who runs in and out of your life. And they always give you hopes that things are better, but they, then they turn around and run out. This is what we're talking about up here in your highest energy. I have the Queen of Wands. So you're holding a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings here. The Queen of Wands is the most passionate card in the deck. So whoever this is, you do have a lot of passion for them. Whether they're a, uh, a sibling, child, lover, whoever it is, okay? It even can be a parent that's running in and out of your life. But uh, the Queen of Wands is, this is fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Might be strong in someone's chart here. Um, you're ready to move forward. You're holding that staff. You haven't gotten up yet to do it, okay? So you are definitely thinking about running uh, or moving forward. And I just need to find out what's going on with this other energy here. I have the Ten of Wands. Now, the Ten of Wands is right above the Knight of Wands and next to the Queen of Wands. This whole situation here has become a heavy burden for you if this is your reading, okay? But what's great about the Ten of Wands is it's coming to an end. So you can drop those wands one by one or all at once. So coming to the end of a very heavy type energy with this Knight of Wands running in and out of your life. 
you've actually, I have the Hermit here next to the Ten of Wands. You have gone deep inside yourself. You have really been searching for the answers of how to seek your path forward. How should you move forward? So the Hermit's here and they're shining a lantern in this reading on uh, some probably some advice is going to come up or some clarity so that it will help you be able to move forward. This is the card for Virgo. So Virgo might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. Very spiritual card. Another very spiritual card, the star right under the Queen of Wands and next to the Knight of Wands. There's a lot of healing taking place here. This is healing right down to your bare bones. Remembering what you want, remembering what you don't want. So it's like seeing your own reflection in that pool of water, you know, and you're, you're remembering you, you, you know, what makes you happy, what makes you tick. Um, very spiritual, taking time to heal. It's a very deep healing card. So on the other side of the Knight of Wands is the Nine of Pentacles. This is under the Hermit. So the hermit saying, hey, you're good by yourself. You're good on your own. You're much more stable. You're much more grounded than having this flighty energy come in and out of your life. Uh, so nine of pentacles. I mean, everybody would love to have that card. Uh, you're independent. You can be. You, this is someone, whoever's running in and out of your life, uh, you want them to stay in your life, but they don't. So now you're having to make some hard decisions to let this burden go, if this is your reading. But you'll be good. You're going to be good. The Hermit is reminding you, you are the Nine of Pentacles, male or female. So, I have the Five of Cups under the star. You're very disappointed in this person. Actually, this person does have to do with love, so you do love this person somehow. Um, you're looking at the spilled cups. They keep disappointing you. There, this is what I call the card of hope, though. So there is hope here uh, in love for you. Uh, I need, just need to keep reading. This comes after all your healing, the hope, but you're healing over all the disappointment. I have the moon next to the five of cups and right under the knight of wands. This is the card for Pisces. So Pisces might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. This is enlightenment. This is, you know, like night turning to day or um, something being revealed that seemed to be hidden before. Something's coming to light with the moon card here. So... I think what's coming to light is their energy and that you can change that because I have the magician right next to the moon and under the nine of pentacles. You don't have to live with this energy. You have choices you can make. Okay. And I think you, you're like, you're like, what well, you know, you're getting to the point of making a choice. So you're manifesting. There's the infinity symbol. And that tells me that you know you can manifest just what it is that you want in your life. You know you have all the tools to manifest what it is that you want in your life. And you know you have the power to do it. And you do. So you have the power. You're a very strong person. You're very strong willed. You can definitely do anything you put your mind to in this reading. It's just that you needed some enlightenment, and that enlightenment is encouragement to do what you need to do. So, Cancers, let's see what the second part of this reading has for you. Let's see where that we're going with this whole reading. For Cancers, I need three more cards, please, for Cancers. One, two. Okay. So, King of Pentacles, right next to the Hermit. You know, right under the Hermit, so Nine of Pentacles. Now we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But you have this Pentacle. Look at it. And, you know, you cherish that Pentacle. You're very mature in your thinking. You're definitely thinking about your future. 
and you want to get up and you want to move because both these are, you know, they're still sitting, you know, the king and the queen. You've got the queen of wands. You're very passionate, but you're also grounded and you need someone grounded in your life, not in and out of your life. So you're really looking at that pentacle. You're really thinking about your future and moving forward. I have the two of pentacles next to the king of pentacles. You've, you've done your weighing the pros and cons over this relationship. You've done all the, you know, the what ifs. And um, this is decision making time for you. So you will be making the decision. And it is about how to have a more grounded life. You were really up in your head about it and making this decision. I got the five of wands. So this is all about thoughts. You know, thoughts going through all different kinds of thoughts on how you should move forward. If you should move forward. You know, what if you make the wrong decision? Um, you know, just all kinds of thoughts. Well, these thoughts are going to settle down into a decision. I have the Page of Wands right next to the Nine of Pentacles and right under the King of Pentacles. So something is brewing from your feet. It's going to come out your mouth. And this is about your fresh, dark, new beginning. So there's something that you need to say and you're going to say it. It might take courage, but you're going to say it. It needs to be said. It, it's all about moving forward. It's all about leaving the old behind and moving forward. You're going to make yourself very clear on what you need to do for you. Because you're enlightened. You know what you need to do for you. So it feels to me like you're going to have to break the news uh, to someone here who um, is kind of flipping your world upside down whenever they feel like it. So, you know, you can't take that much longer. So the death card, the card for Scorpio. Scorpio might be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But this is leaving the old behind and moving towards the new. It's like ringing out the old year and ringing in the new year. Changes. You're ready to make changes. I have temperance. You're moving right towards temperance here and temperance is under the five of wands so you know this is a really reassuring card for one thing it's a card for Sagittarius so Sagittarius might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading but what's really important about this card is this is your guardian angels and spirit guides if this is your reading they're all around you and they're trying to help you be tempered so not to lose your cool okay they want you to be balanced they want you to be patient and uh, they want you to be grounded you need to be grounded they know that okay so stay grounded be grounded don't fly off the handle or anything you're gonna it's brewing don't let it brew things brew to the point it turns into a big tower moment i see no tower moments here i don't think you're going to because temperance is here so temperance is, is going to prevent any tower moments, but um, you are going to express your feelings about needing to move on, to move forward. I have the Seven of Swords under the Page of Wands and next to the Magician. You know you've got to get away from, you know, they're, they're deceitful. They're not even telling you everything that's going on, and you know it. So they're hiding something from you. You can feel it. You know you need to move forward from it, and you're going to speak up about it. Wow, you know, this has been a judgment. This has been a spiritual lesson for you. I don't think you'll ever get into this particular situation again. Um, it is about recognizing uh, an energy that is um, ungrounded, flighty, and, you know, how, the, how it can affect your life. Because a lot of people don't really realize how that can affect their life, especially if, if you're used to being grounded. If you're a grounded type person, this is going to flip your world, you know, several times, as long as you let them keep coming in. And so your judgment here is under the death card. You're tired of going through a spiritual lesson. You're waking up to it. Look at all these people waking up to their spiritual lesson. You get, you get it. You understand what it is that you need to do. And, you, and it looks to me like you need to move forward. It's, it's, it's temperance right, right above, uh, below temperance and next to the judgment card is the Six of Swords. 
So this conversation, whatever's brewing, is going to be very important. You're going to uh, be picking up swords of truth and clarity. You might even find out what, what they're hiding. I don't know. I don't know that if it really makes a difference. Um, you just need this energy uh, out of your life because you need to get back to being grounded and being you and heal. You've got a lot of healing to do. Temperance is here to help you move forward and you are moving forward. You're pushing the boat with a pole, so it's kind of a slow go, you know, on the easy river or whatever, but you're trying to get across that lake. And the more truth, more clarity, the more you are enlightened about this situation, the further you get across that lake. So you are doing it. You're making big changes in your life for your happiness. So cancers. Um, it looks like you're going through something. You're going to be doing your healing. There's still hope and love out there for you and your angels are all around you and they're really, really helping you get through this and you're reaching a much quieter, more pleasant, more beautiful place in your life. So thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. I want to thank my guardian angels and spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.